It was one of the greatest things. Uh, Mary Whitehouse, I've got a lot to thank her for. And uh, no, you know, it's great that you've got someone like that around because you need someone like that around, you know, otherwise we'd go crazy, you know. Um, but by her banning it, and you've got to remember the BBC made two things at the same time. They made two things about prison. Yeah. The other one was Law and Order, which was a fabulous programme and all. And they couldn't ban them both, so they kept Law and Order. And but they banned our one. Yeah. And by banning our one, it caused uproar. People wanted to see it. And so we made a film two years later with more or less the same cast. It was yeah. one or two changes. And I remember the first thing Clark, he said, don't try and do it better. It's better. Because it's the second time, and, you, and, and I know what he means. You, when, once you do it a second time, you think, oh, was, I can do it better than that, you know, and do it this way. And we, thank God we was in his hands because we would have pushed the boat out. I actually think the BBC version is better than the film. Because? For two re well, because we were younger. And when you're 17, from 17 to 20, you become a man. And I mean that in a way that you grow up and you start to look different, you start to look like a guy. At 17, especially in those days, yeah. I think a 17-year-old boy looked like he was about 10. You know, we used to still wear shorts and sandals with socks yeah. and things like that. It was, and we did, and the thing about the first one is that, that fear of kids, abusing kids, yeah. in, physically and mentally in every way. But also the men, the guards, abusing kids as well. So it had much more of a, an effect as a programme, I think, you know.